Leo Rabogo, Uganda bronze medal winner, 1968, Olympic game in Mexico City in boxing. Leo Rabogo is the first Ugandan to win Olympic bronze medal during the 1968 Olympic Games in Mexico City. He was one of the most prominent Uganda amateur boxing fighter during the 1960s. He became prominent at the African Boxing Championship that was held in Zambian capital, Lusaka, in June 1968. He defeated Sang Byung Sho of South Korea 5-0. In the quarterfinal, he beat up Thibault Baden of Hungary by 3-2. Because of his incredible speed and efficiency, he was a muscular man and well-conditioned. Robogo at that time was suspected of having used marijuana, but there was no proof that he had broken any law and rules. In the semi-final, in the semi-final, he lost to Arta Oleg of Poland, 2-3. He then settled for a bronze medal. He became the first Uganda Olympic bronze medalist. His name is now cemented in the history of Uganda Olympic Games. In 1970, Leo Robogo was a contributor to Uganda emergent as top Commonwealth Boxing Nation. The 1970 Commonwealth Games was held in Edinburgh, Scotland. In the quarter flyweight, Robogo defeated Leon Nyson of Australia. The referee had to stop the boots in second round. In the semi-final, he had to face David Lamour of Ireland. He won by a majority point decision. In the final, he was defeated by Dave Nedham of England. He was honored with a silver medal. Ruabogo represented Uganda as a flyweight at the Olympic of 1972. He defeated Yorga Achuna of Uruguay, 5-0. He technically knocked out Maurice Sullivan of Great Britain in the first round. And a win over Horn Chim Shawalt of Thailand and move on to quarterfinal and delivered another technical knockout of Neil Melogin of Ireland. 
And in the semi-final, notwithstanding the outstanding dominance of Cuba in the Olympic of 1972 games, Leo Robogo was able to defeat Douglas Rodriguez of Cuba 3-2. The Cuban at that time had dominated boxing at this Olympic Games. Although Rodriguez was defeated, he settled for bronze at the World Amateur Boxing Champion held in Havana. Rodriguez then would capture gold. in the final of the 1972 Olympic, Robogo lost to George Kostadinov of Bulgaria by 5-0. Robogo had accumulated thumb injuries that might have been a major factor in the loss. Robogo Further, cemented himself in Uganda history to have won two Olympic medals. No Ugandans has ever reenacted Robogo's feat. He won more Olympic boxing medals than any other Ugandan boxers. He was a top amateur boxer. We have several Ugandans, such as James Odori, Mohamed Muruli, Ayub Kalule, won more gold medals in their international competition. But again, many regards the Olympics as the traditional hallmark of international competition. During the All African Games held in Nigeria, capital, Lagos, in 1973, Robogo was eliminated 3-2 by Laha Ratavi of Madagascar. And Laha was after later defeated by Isaac Maiwa of Kenya. As regard to international boxing, Leo Robogo was little hard off and he was not even listed among Uganda teams of the 1976. Olympics in Montreal that was boycotted. He was not included in the 1974 Uganda team of African Boxing Championship, the Commonwealth Games, and the World Amateur Boxing Championship. The politics of games in Africa is undermining the quality of our talented players. Favor, where you come from, play a dangerous role in promoting sports around Africa. It's a very sad development. In Africa, we can argue that maybe those talented sports, men and women, are left out due to age or injuries. Maybe the national coaches consider upcoming younger boxing generation as more competent than Leo Robogo not allowing a man 
with abandoned experience, moved into a professional rank, which could have added additional values in promoting boxing in Uganda. Leo Robogo was offered the chance to turn professional in the United States following the 1972 games, but he was persuaded to remain in Uganda by the officials of Uganda. He played important roles within the boxing as a coach, fighter, and because of his talent, he became a referee. He remained in Kilembe Mine as a sport officer. The same club that made him what he is. That is where he started. And that is where he decided to stay. If he had taken the chance to turn professional and go to America, probably we might have been hearing of him even today. He decided to stay where he was, where he grew up as a teenager. In 1981, in 1981, Robogo was a campaigner for Crispus Kiyongo and became a member of National Registered Movement. At the helm, he worked as a peasant farmer in relative poverty. He died while tending his garden in the village of Rugongo in Kabarole district at the age of 59 in 2008, leaving behind 12 children. The poverty-stricken nature of his death was shot in Uganda, but he is not the first spot men and women who died in poverty. A lot of our spot men and women after some years the very government they serve forget them and once you're dead you die in poverty there's nothing anybody can do about it Robogo was not the first, and neither will he be the last, because those practices are still on up to today. And if we don't change the way we handle our heroes, our sport men and women, a lot more will die in poverty compared to other countries around the world. In case of Robogo, a fundraising drive race some million and some people donated 50 metal seats and took acres of land 
to construct a home for Robogo's family that offer is coming too late. It was just a face saving from the state that failed to take care of their own people, their own heroes. Now, to avoid being ashamed to avoid looking at those who made a lot of sacrifice and to contribution to the nation like Robogo is left to die in poverty is a shame to a state itself. Robogo himself, he was born in Tororo, a town in eastern Uganda. He took up boxing and he joined Kilembe Mine Boxing Center in the west of the country. When you look at his Olympic record, he claimed the African flyweight in the 1960s was a part of Uganda boxing team for 1968. Olympic of 1964, 72, 1970, British Commonwealth Games. He was a double Olympic medal winner. Leo Robogo left to Halle. Your work was not yet finished. We failed you as a nation. Travel well, my brother. Von Voyage. Uganda boxing officials should have given you more than you got. They too have failed you miserably. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to surprise, to subscribe, hit the like button so that you don't forget the source of information on Uganda. And remember, I will be back.